One of the things I love about my job is the variety in a day and the interaction with a lot of different people and I think particularly the interaction around music. Music is something of the spirit. I think it goes in very deep to an area we, we, we can't quite understand so I could describe to you the climax of a piece of music I, I particularly love but it wouldn't actually move you. Whereas if I played you the piece of music it might. Music has that power to go beyond words in that sense and I think God is maybe somewhere similarly deep within us. It's difficult being a musician who has to be, as it were, on duty in church alongside having your own faith and wanting to worship. The balance of them and the interaction of them just, just changes on a day-to-day -day and a year-to-year -year basis. There are days where I turn up and, and we, we've got particular challenges. Sometimes it's very difficult and quite stressful just getting through the music and the music is often not easy that we do. On days like that, my mind is not in the right place to relax and then listen fully to the sermon and fully engage with the readings. I'm more thinking strategically about how I can be of most help. And then there are other times where you just feel deeply, deeply moved when you reach the climax of a service and it just feels like it's come out of the full journey of the liturgy up to that point and the, the priest is about to consecrate the elements and the music, I think, really can lift that sort of thing and it does for me. The cathedral opened its doors in November 1887 and from then until now we've had a choir that has sung the services here and those of us who do that now are custodians of that tradition. Our challenge is to work out what is ripe for evolution and development but make sure we're pretty uncompromising about keeping the elements that define us the same. Whatever's happening in the world, the choir walks in at half past five on a Monday and sings the service that day. There's something about that regularity which I think speaks to the unchangingness and the sort of timelessness of, of, of God. Each person, whether they've done, you know, six years or, or 50 years, has, has given a, a huge amount of their, their sort of being to, to try and innovate and, uh, you know, keep relevant the, the choral tradition here. And so I try to do that in my own way. I think it's a job where you do feel called to give everything you have to it. Sometimes it's just very intensive in term time. When we start at 8 in the morning and then even song finishes at 6.15, more often than not that is not the end of the working day for us. So we have to be careful about not getting too fatigued to be able to keep a sort of fresh response to the music and looking after your own well-being, I suppose, to be able to do that. It is all about your own attitude towards it. And because I love my job, actually, the, the line is very blurred between private life and, and work. I think if you try to fight it and get resentful of, of how intensive it is, that mindset isn't very healthy. Whereas if you just um, get, go with the flow of it and say, well, I'm going to get half term off shortly or whatever, then, then it's, it's fine. One of the exciting things about working in any church environment is that so much is dependent on you actually as a, either an organist or a choir trainer. If you're willing to spend time developing links with a local school on your patch, it can be enormously rewarding. There are talented kids all over the place. You could go into any primary school and create a good choir there. There are lots of opportunities, I think. I would recommend getting in touch with the diocese and asking to speak to someone there who you could talk to about which parishes in your area would be most receptive to supporting that kind of initiative and just see if there's an opportunity for you to exercise that. If you feel a calling to do something, it is good to sort of water that seed because otherwise what's life really about? And, and it doesn't have to be an either or, you're not necessarily going to have to leave your day job in order to do it. There are lots of ways of serving within the church that don't involve you know, radically rethinking your life. It's just something you, you get a lot of satisfaction out of offering your particular gifts in service for the church.